Hello and welcome back to another Coding Bat tutorial. Today we are going to be going to Section Array 2 and going over Exercise Has 77. The question says, given an array of ints, return true if the array contains two 7s next to each other, or there are two 7s separated by one element such as with, um, in the array, 7, 1, 7. So let's look at the examples. For the first example, it would return true because you have a 7 followed by a 7. seven. Uh, for the second example, you have a true because it's 7 um, followed by any number and another 7. Um, but the last one would return false because you have two 7s, but there's 2 in between, which does not follow the two rules. So, basically, we're going to go through most of the array, and I say most of the array because we're actually starting at index um, 1. And the reason this is, is because we want to check two things, right? We want to check two indices. However, we don't want to go out of bounds. So the easiest way to do this would to be start at the second number, which is the index 1, and also scan the one before that. So the way we want to do this is go through the rest of the array, starting at index 1. If nums i, the index we are scanning is equal to 7, and we're going to use the and function to see if the number before is also equal to 7. If this is true, then we simply have to return true. Because we have followed the rules, if 7s are next to each other, then you automatically return true, and the rest of it does not matter. Um, next, you want to check for the 7s that are sandwiching another number, like so. Now, we're just going to create another for loop, and this time we're going to start from uh, the very first index, which is index 0. And the reason this is, is because we can simply change where you end the for loop. And this basically goes through all of the numbers except for the last two, but this is okay because we scan three at a time and we don't want to go out of bounds. And this is a good way to prevent out of bounds errors just by changing what you're actually scanning. So we want to check if the index we are currently at is equal to 7 and the index we are at plus 2 is also equal to 7. And this would result in true because you would be looking at a number, two indices over, an um, and if they're both 7, then you return true. If after both of these scans, you've checked for 7s um, right next to each other or 7s sandwiching another number, then you want to return false because you have not found either condition to be true. And it seems that we've gone all correct. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comment section below and we'll sure to answer it. And thank you, and we'll see you in the next video.